Hi, today we will demonstrate how to install a fresh copy of Postmaster Enterprise. First, let's run a checklist as to what system configuration is required for installing Postmaster. The first is the operating system. It can be of 32-bit or 64-bit and the platform can be both on Windows and Linux. For installing Postmaster on Linux, we recommend that you use either Send Operating System or Red Hat Linux Operating System. Next, you have the hard disk, that is a sufficient amount of free space on the hard disk is required where you have installed your Postmaster. Internally, uh, Postmaster requires at least uh, 50 MB for the program and another 500 MB to 1 GB per user depending on the number of users that you have and the volume of mail sent and received. The third important point is the RAM. Postmaster minimum it requires 512 RAM and 2 GB for the overall system. Since we now know what are the system requirements for installing Postmaster, let us now proceed to install the Postmaster on a 32-bit machine with Windows operating system. Before starting installing the Postmaster, I would like to mention that we have already created a folder called QLC under which the Postmaster will get installed. Either you can create a folder beforehand or you can create a folder while you are installing Postmaster. This is my Postmaster folder. Make sure that you have all the required files that is necessary for installing Postmaster. This is the Postmaster setup file. Then you have my SQL of 32-bit. JRE of 32-bit. Since we are installing Postmaster on a 32-bit machine, these are the required files. For installing Postmaster on 64-bit machine, we would be requiring only JRE of 64-bit, MySQL of 64-bit and CAT folder of 64-bit. Let's start installing our Postmaster. So click on PME V8 setup file and follow the procedures. Click on next. From here, you can either create your folder or select the folder that you have already created. So the first step of installing Postmaster has been initiated. So we are done installing our Postmaster, click on finish to exit the installation. Once you are done, now you have to install JRE on the same folder where you have installed your Postmaster. Click on next, select the folder. And click install. Once the JRE gets installed, we'll move on installing MySQL for Postmaster. Click finish to end the installation. Now it's done. Now let's start installing MySQL. MySQL will be installed on the same drive.
under the folder I will make a new folder called mysql here I will install my Here I will be installing my MySQL. Click on next and follow the steps. choose standard configuration from the drop down select mysql5 here put the root password as root enable root access from remote machines and click on next click on execute to start installing your mysql Press finish to close the wizard here as well. Now you are done installing MySQL. Go to your start folder, all programs, select MySQL, from here select the option MySQL command line client and click on it. Here you put the password that is root and click enter then you have to create the mail db for your postmaster so the command will be create database mail db enter once it is done you will be shown that query ok one row affected that is you have successfully created your mail db for your postmaster once you are done you can close it now let's go back to the folder we have installed postmaster as you can see these are the files which comes while you have installed your postmaster now you have to click on pme.bat file to start your postmaster before starting your postmaster this is the license file that you have to use for your demo postmaster that is the license file allows you to use one admin plus two users you can click on PME to restart your postmaster. If you have got the license file, you can log in into postmaster as an admin and change the license file from there. To change the license file, you can see our other videos on how to replace license in postmaster. Let's start PME. Double click on the PME.bat file. Okay, this is your Postmaster Enterprise Startup Wizard. You have to fill up the field details over here to start your Postmaster. The first one is the domain name. So put your domain name. Put your host name. Port. Put the username. And the password click on next next is your outgoing settings put your SMTP host port is there SSL enabled never you have to use the SSL service for your service provider who makes you to use the SSL 
for the time being we would use never then user authentication put your username and password move to next field you have the log settings over here enable the option to have all your log settings master login if you want you can choose any of the option from the drop down as well for the default logging as well next comes log rotation if you want to have log rotation depending on day based size based you can enable the same from here or if you don't want to have any log rotation you can select no rotation if you have selected day based then comes the option files to be written that is for how many days your logs will be maintained will be mentioned over here that is for 5 days 6 days or 7 days or whatever days you want next if you have selected size based rotation then you can define the maximum file size of your log next come mis log settings you can select either disabled or normal from here once you are done move to next here you have the password expired policy you can either set the date that is expire every 30 days or 60 days as per your choice enable alert before 5 days that is when will the alert of expired policy will go to the users you can set it from here you can select quick message alert to go to the users for your password expire policy and enable this option that is email will be sent that is an alert email once you have set it let's move to config backup here you have enable auto backup the rotation is for five days if you want to send an alert mail you can do the same from here by providing your username if you want to have the store backup copy you can enable this option and path for backup copy if you want to provide any backup copy path you just remove this part and provide the path that you want to have then you have backup data type that is what backup, uh, backup data type you want to take you can enable the options from here next daily backup schedule if you want to have a daily backup schedule of your uh, config backup you can set the same from here next self diagnostic if you enable the diagnostic it will schedule every five minutes to check the system enable the option from here and provide the threshold next you have services the same thing applies for the services you enable these check boxes to activate your self diagnostic for the services that you have next you have spools that is if you want to have a self diagnostic feature enabled for your mail drop incoming archive and deferred you can do the same from here next path it will check for the paths where your logs are saved spool and users paths are there alert now if you want to send an alert you can enable this option and put the send email id where this alert will go regarding your self diagnostic once you are done click on next now here this is the free space that is this first one option that you have is the postmaster drive free space you can specify the postmaster drive that you have that is for us it was f drive qlc folder so you mentioned the path over here similarly for your database archive drive and everything it will check after five minutes and then you have a warning size limit that is if there is 200 MB size on this drive it will send an warning mail to the admin so provide a right email ID over here if you want to have a warning quick message to admin you can enable this option then you have a critical size limit that is the critical size limit is mentioned over here is 100 MB you can set it as per your choice as well then what will happen when the postmaster drive or the database drive or the archive drive reaches to its critical size limit either it will stop the service or it will shut down so you can choose as per your choice next you have proxy settings you can enable http proxy from here or disable it as per your choice you can edit your port number if you want to give a specific port number to http you can do it from here 
enable login select from the drop down what are the options that you want to have for your http proxy next enable antivirus scan ftp proxy the same thing applies for ftp proxy as well enable this option and let's move to the next tab archive settings in the archive mode you have archive for all or archive per user you can select as per your choice and enable this for internal mails for incoming mails outgoing and user defined point that is if you enable this option put the part where you want to have this archive mode for all these features next you have the status is enable virus scanning keep it enable on finding virus what will be the action that will be taken you can select from drop down similarly for disinfect mail either you want to delete or quarantine then add virus free mail text to local delivery and remote delivery next you have anti-spam status is enabled process settings enabled you have the computer settings you can do it as per your choice pre uh, classification via email as learning at is to the domain update mail features no update user filter or global filter you can choose it as per your choice next is you have miscellaneous settings if you want to have a daily report mail you can enable this option and the history will be maintained for 15 days or what the number of days that you have given over here once it is done click on finish see congratulations the initial configuration required for postmaster enterprise has all been set you can click on ok to start your postmaster as you can see this is the postmaster console that has opened in front of you now what you can do is you can log in as an admin into your postmaster all the settings that you have done in the postmaster wizard you can do it by logging into postmaster as an admin and do the settings from there the HTTP port is 80 so we will type HTTP colon localhost port 80 and enter okay I have made a message that is HTTP so this is your postmaster webmail by default the password of your admin will be admin so let's log in with admin username and admin password there you go now you know how to install your postmaster on your machine if you have any concerns regarding how to install postmaster and carry out all these configuration settings you can write to us at support at qlc.in thank you